All right, let's see here, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what we got for the moon and the breath. It's also a solar eclipse, so what's going on? <laughs> what do you see? Oh, nourishment, perfect, perfect, because it is seventh house energy, which is generally the house, of, you know, Libra, okay, house of relationships, what is it that needs to be nourished, what in you needs to be nourished, this is waxing crescent five, something is changing here, land of milk and honey is what I hear, <laughs> somebody might really like cheese, Somebody pouring, like really getting the nourishment from, somebody may even be taking a uh, milk bath, yeah, or want to, especially during this time, to bring in that, I'm hearing cornucopia, it's the new growth for me, that would, that's what that five can symbolize and talk about as well, we gonna see when we get into the good tarot, see what good is coming through with this, somebody loves bread, bread and cheese, that may be what you're eating, peaches, nectarines, what I hear, Somebody may definitely be going and nourishing their garden. Let your garden grow. And that could be literal or uh, figurative. I feel like it is a little more, um, I heard spiritual, but, you know, a little more internal. Mm -hmm. Watering your soul, nurturing your soul, allowing it to grow. Oh, we could be talking about this divine masculine or even the uh, masculine energy within myself. And that's powerful because this is the lunar God is what it says, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, baby, I'm scared of you. So two, four, six, 42 being a six. Somebody may be 42 years young. Somebody may have a two, four, five, seven year old. Six, did I say six? Whatever, all the numbers that I'm already saying. Uh, they may be the age of your child or children, okay? Something that somebody may be born in the months of February, April, May, July, uh, June, July. On any of these dates I've already said, and or any of these dates in whatever month, to be honest. Okay, what good is this? What is this for this uh, lunar eclipse? For this new moon? <clears throat> Make it clean, please. What good can this get? My new moon is trying to come through. Mm -hmm. Seven, of, it's something about these sevens. That's double uh, confirmation. Yeah. And it's, it's funny because, you know, generally I love this, this deck because for me, it brings forth any and all things good, no matter the typical, every, every energy of, hold on, I need to say that. No matter the card, each card has uh, polar energies, right? A positive and negative aspect, if you will. And generally, y'all should know by now, for those of you who don't, the air is my, not my favorite suit, even though I'm heavily asked, uh, that's as if somebody is heavily aspected in their chart. But like, <clears throat> for instance, in Vedic astrology, I am Gemini Moon, and I do, I feel that, like it's been, it's been a, it's been a trying uh, season, I guess, in my life over the past couple of years, just to get the mental down and with me being heavy Virgo um you know we tend to be in our headspace quite often right <laughs> so that's why it can be a little bit challenging however for this you know because typically the seven of swords can get that um lying cheating stealing deceptive type of vibe but with this it's like she strategizing like bringing forth um uh, even her entourage, her squad, like calling forth with this air energy, because that can also be the energy of communication, right? This is that Libra energy too, potentially. Um, it could be any, like for me to even mention Gemini Moon, it could be Gem Gemini and or um, Aquarius. I was about to say Sage, that's crazy. It may be something coming through during Sage season for somebody, or somebody has Sage have heavily aspected and or, and or are dealing with one, whatever. <laughs> what I'm getting, because it could be anybody just in this energy, but what I'm getting is like, she calling forth help. <laughs> it's like, and hopefully, prayerfully, somebody is removing this mask. 
but she calling for her angels and sets of spirit squad to come through to help her, you know, to, to, to bring forth the inside awareness, clarity, because even uh, Libra and Aquarian energy, they are the queen and king of swords, respectively, for me in the higher uh, court cards, right? Which those two both are all about balance. Some can even call them a little cold hearted just because they, they tend to be more logical and reasonable and make head over heart decisions. And, you know, <laughs> that may rub some the wrong way, but it's like no ill intention is, I'm not feeling any ill intention behind this. It's more loving, supportive, even strategic. You, you, you knowing and learning how to move. Even I heard more gently, because hopefully you're nourishing with this feminine energy of Libra, because it's like half the Empress, if not all of the Empress, right? Between them and Taurus. So it's like you're utilizing that energy to bring forth the balance and nourish and nurture not only the feminine aspect, because these two are bringing me heavy divine feminine energy, but you're giving that, you're now nurturing and nourishing the masculine side of you. So that's, I mean, that's bringing forth the balance. And I'm being drawn to these two little figures, which look like the divine feminine and masculine unionizing, right? Coming together with the four, honestly, the two, four and six in here is talking about that balance for me. Y'all see them over there in the background? That's what you've been working on in the background for me to say that. For whoever that resonates with, yeah. Anyway, bottom of the deck. Oh, five of, uh, I was about to say five of air. My God. Five of wands. Five of fire in this deck. And I said ooh like that because this five of wands can generally talks about, again, like, you know, conflict, um, stress, chaos, confusion. It's another five. Where did that five go? Wax and Crescent. Five. It's another five. So that's double, double confirmation. Something's done that or needs to be. And I feel like it's just if you have found yourself in this mentally conflicting energy or unbalanced in some kind of way, imbalanced, not balanced, let me say it like that, then prayerfully you are taking time out to, like I said, get in this divine feminine energy to really heal and nurture that stuff so that you can receive this replenishment is what I just heard. Shout out, I don't know, but I hope you take heed to it. Stay tuned, y'all, if you want to go even further into the extended, okay? Link will be below. Deuces. Mm -hmm.